It's the 12th of January 2024 and Trasvasaris is back for the weekend. I Meaning once again you got the chance to get some great weapons and armour from the weekly PvP event in Destiny 2. Or well, trials they are around from Friday until recent on Tuesday. So you got until then to hunt down the available rewards this weekend. Okay, let's check out the important information first and that is the map and the adept loop for the weekend. Well, for the map this weekend we've got the anomaly. And for the Adept Weapon, we've got an Adept Eye of Souls Sniper Rifle. We'll stick around for info and weapons of girls to chase for Season of the Wish. Well, Trials of Osiris are the pinnacle PvP activity in every weekend. The best players compete in 3v3 elimination for one goal, and that is to go flawless. So first of all, head down to C814 in the tower, and don't forget to pick up the passage of your choice. Loot is no longer acquired by winning 3, 5 and 7 matches. It's all about winning the rounds, not the matches that helps you rank up the safe routine in the tower to get that Trials loot. So rank up to earn armor, weapons and powerful upgrades, plus you get Trials engrams while you are playing Trials. Let's have a quick look at the Season of the Wish Trials loot. We've got the Messenger, the Unexpected Resurgence, the Igneous Hammer, the Cataphract GL3, the Eye of Soul and the new one that is the Incisor and of course the Fused Aurum Armor. So win rounds. Rank up at Safe 14 in the tower to get even more rewards. Next up, we've got the Trials Versaris Legacy Loot. So, in addition to regular rewards, we've got Legacy Focusing. That means you can get weapons and armor from past seasons, including Legacy Weapons, Pyroxen Armor, Exile Armor. So, all you need to do is go and see Safe 14, inspect his menu, and you can find the Trials Versaris Legacy Loot right there. Well, next up, let's have a look at the God Roll Guide for Trials of Osiris in Season of the Wish. First of all, we've got the Messenger, is a legendary kinetic pulse rifle for PvP, Rapid Hit and Desperado, and PvE, Outlaw and Kill Clip. We've got the Unexpected Resurgence, it's an energy glaive for PvE, Feeding Frenzy and Vorpal Weapon, and for PvP, Auto Learning Holster and Unstoppable Force. We've got the Igneous Hammer, it's an energy hand cannon for PvE, Heal Clip and Incandescent, and PvP, Rangefinder and Opening Shot. We got the Cataphract GL3, it's a power grenade launcher for PvE, auto-loading holster and hatchling, and for PvP, impulse amplifier and chain reaction. Then we got the Eye of Soul, that one is a great sniper rifle for PvE, no distractions, and firing line, and for PvP, moving target and snapshot sights. Finally, we've got the Incisor, that one is the Strand Trace Rifle for PvE, subsistence and hatchling, and then for PvP, Zen Moment and target lock, that would be a decent roll. Well, let me know if you're jumping into Trials this weekend, and if you are, good luck. But that is it for this guide for the Trials of Osiris Mapper Awards this weekend. Thanks again, and I'll see you very soon.